Okay, so we're going to set up a storage resource, a storage policy uh, using OpenFiler. And you may remember I briefly overwent, oh, uh, went over OpenFiler and some of the other uh, backup and storage um, tools or resources that are free to use online or that you can get easily or that are available. And OpenFiler is one of those. So we are going to uh, click on our, our ESXi host just to make sure our filers online. So we're going to uh, click on. Uh, so here's our ESXi host. And this is my AD server. That's my comm server right there. And here's my open filer. So right click on that and go to console. And I'm just going to make sure that. I have an IP address pulls up. You log into it almost like you log into a router. You know, whatever IP it is, in this case, I think it's 172. Well, no, I know it is 172.16.30.10. And it's going to give you like a port number as well behind it. Okay, so we know that's good. 172 uh, 16.30.10 30.10 port 446. So we're going to go. Well, wait a minute. I maybe hit the wrong thing. Yeah, so I accidentally uh, shut it down. So I'm going to wait for it to come back up. Okay, so open filer is back. That's good. So we're going to click. We're going to go to our comm serve now and we're going to get started. We're at the comm serve now and I'm going to open the browser up. And I'm going to log into this um, open filer. Obviously, you see the uptime, 22 hours. That's not right. I just rebooted this thing, so that's not accurate. And they built open filer as a open source storage management. Um, and it's nice. It's, uh, it's free. You know, it's... It's nice. You could use it with labs, which is nice for me. Um, okay. I don't know why that hasn't changed 22 hours, but whatever. Um, so first things first, right? We're going to set this up. We're going to do a SIF share. Uh, and you can go to SIFS.com, C-I-F-S.com. Um, it's a network uh, file share protocol, of course, right? So it provides shared access. You know, um, printers use it, um, your D drive uses it. If you're connected to, um, say, like a um, remote share, you know, whack whack share drive. Anyway, um, let's get back to uh, our tutorial. All right, so we're going to click on, now I've already built all this stuff, right? So I'm just going to show you um, what, what to click on or why it works basically. So an open filer, you're going to click on shares. Um, yeah. So I've already built this, obviously, the SIF share, shares. And I'm going to make sure that the shares are there. They are. I'm just going to show you. And then we're going to click on the, the services, make sure that the um, SIF share, SIF services are online. And finally, the... Um, uh, put it back, put it in or install it or set it up in Cobalt. Let's click on shares. Right. So this is our share name here, Cobalt Lab. That's our share name. And what is it going to look like? You may ask. Right there. So when it's all said and done, that's what it's going to look like. When we add it to the Cobalt, to the Cobalt or Cobalt rather, um, it's a storage policy, storage resource, excuse me, storage policy, storage resource, okay, you know, anyway, um, so this is the shared name, right, so let's click on services, make sure our SIFs are online and running, CIFS, CIFS, Samba, SIFs, yeah, yeah, SIFs, here we go, right there, it's running, good, and we can turn off this NFS service. We're not using that. And let's go to, I wanted to show you something. So 
in shares, you click on the actual share name, right? So mount NFS. Convault, Convlab, that's a SIFS though, by the way. Don't get fooled with the NFS thing there. And um, right here. So I can click on the NFS, I can just turn that off. And the SIFS, SMB SIFS option, meaning here's the name of it. That's how we get that name right here. So if I change that, it'll, I can it should change it here. It's just the name. Uh, and then the, or path, well, essentially it's a path actually. Uh, and then, so I got the read write done. I turn on. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault. Get a high-paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.